You seen Bruce? You want me to get on the other side? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. Get him, girl. <laughs> get him, girl. That's a big old squirrel, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which way did she go? I see. All right, what's it take to make a good squirrel dog? They've got to be exposed to squirrels. You can't leave one in the pen, take him hunting several more times a year. Uh, if, if you can have squirrels in your yard and dogs get excited barking at it, that's kind of half the battle right there. Mm -hmm. Or if you live out in the country, can let a dog run loose. One, if he's going to do it, he'll kind of do it on his own because they're sort of independent little dogs anyway. Most of them, a lot of different dogs will make some kind of a squirrel dog. He's on the back side of that limb. Yep. There he goes. Oh! <laughs> and the chase is on. Let's go, Peanut. What's the best squirrel dog you ever had? Probably if it's not her, it's a, a little uh, part mountain feist and part uh, Hound, he's sort of a little boutique colored dog. Who's that one we had years ago that you took? She was a fresher mountain cur, a red female. Yeah. And then I had a little puppy named Boogie that we took along. Boogie. But Boogie never did make much of a squirrel dog. Come on, Peanut. Let's go. Let's go. Down here. Let's go. Now this is what kids need to grow up hunt squirrel well, rabbits, yeah. you know, and but no, some woodsmanship. And, but they've got it, they're spoiled now because we've got it so good. Well, you know, we didn't have turkeys and deer when we were kids. We and, and a lot of these daddies now that's taking them, they didn't either. I mean, they didn't yeah. grow up squirrel hunting and rabbits, so, you know, it's kind of a... Best training you can get, isn't it? Oh, yeah. If you're a good squirrel hunter, you'll be a good turkey hunter, good deer hunter, if you don't just about woodsmanship and stalking and sneaking and yep. using the wind and you know you you, you learn a lot from squirrel honey. Let's go. Let's go peanut. Ah. One on this side. Is he on this side of the tree? He's right here. There's one over here. I got him. Good job. Get him, Peanut. Good job, girl. Come here. Come here, baby. Got him. Uh-oh. Bruce, what do you think about this Mason County squirrel hunting? A lot of squirrels, a lot of fox squirrels. Uh, up and down terrain, give you some good exercise, which I need. You know what? This is pretty good. This is where, of course, this is where I grew up. I spent some time here in the 60s and 70s. Now let's talk about a big old tough fox squirrel. What's your, what's your best uh, way to cook them? What do you like? How do you like to cook them? I cooked some last week, and I put them in a crock pot. Put a lot more water in them than I would uh, some other kinds of meat, you know, because I want that juice from them to make dumplings with, mm -hmm. you know. I put salt and pepper, you know, of course, you put a little garlic if you want to, a little Cajun seasoning, just to your taste and seasoning, but uh, I cook them on high about uh, four hours and the meat will fall off the bone, you know. Let them cool and I take that meat off the bone and uh, take that juice and I usually put mine on a big, uh, like a four quart uh, saucepan on the top of the stove and make my dumplings. And I cheat on the dumplings, but they're good. Uh, I just use bulk biscuits and uh, uh, like two small cans of biscuits, 10 in it, but small biscuits. Pinch them off about five pieces per biscuit. Put them in there in about 10 minutes, you got the dumplings. Instant dumplings. Yeah, and, and uh, turn the heat down after they boil, I'll turn it down on them simmer and your kind of your juice will thicken up a little bit, you know. 
pretty good carry <laughs> now. Doesn't like it. Good carry now. You're making now. me hungry. Right yeah, now. yeah. Man, she's done a great job. Yeah. How old is Peanut? She'll be three in uh, February. Three the last part of February. And, uh, she has got. She has got the fire, doesn't she? Oh yeah, she's smart little dog. There he is. I wish I had that energy right there. Let's go, Peanut. Help! 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 That's a good girl. You know what, this is for somebody who hadn't gone out with a squirrel dog, it really is enjoyable because you can talk and let the dog go do the thing. It's great for kids and, and uh, us old guys too. She's one heck of a dog, I gotta tell you that right she's, now. She's a smart little dog and uh, uh, she'll hunt all day long. She just wants to keep hunting, you know. But yeah, she'll mind you, she'll come to you when yeah. you wanna go, you know. And, uh, my grandkids, uh, they, they like her, and uh, it's a good thing to do with your grandkids or take a kid hunting, you know. Uh, uh, I've got a lot of enjoyment in my lifetime. I've been blessed to get to hunt. And, uh, I think I told you, like 10 different states and uh, uh, probably 40 counties in Kentucky. I, I enjoy just getting out. And I need to exercise and watching the dog work, you know, and it's just God created a beautiful country, you know, and, and we need to enjoy it.